Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this super sweet card featuring Lawn Fawn's You're the Zest mini stamp set. First up, I'm going to show you what I needed to make this card. So I'm using my largest stitch rectangle and some white cardstock. I have a plain white card base, my Henry's ABC dies, this is my favourite alphabet at the moment. I've also got a few of the little extras from the set with the numbers. I'm using my You're the Zest mini stamp set and I have the die here but I'm so used to fussy cutting I forgot to use my die. From my Be Happy <laughs> stamp set I'm using the little leaf. I've also got some gold embossing powder, my embossing ink and some anti-static powder. And of course I'll be adding some sparkle with my Starry Colors watercolor pigments. I thought I'd make the background first so that it can dry before I do the other elements to this card. So what I'm going to do first is absolutely load up this white piece of cardstock with my anti-static powder. I'm going to be doing a lot of embossing on this piece. So I've got my gold embossing powder ready and all I'm going to do here is stamp the lemon and just twist the stamp around in all directions and cover up as much of that white space as possible. I find I can get away with stamping quite a few of the lemons before I need to pop my powder on so I'm not going back and forth constantly after each stamp. This embossing ink is a slow drying one so that it does give you plenty of time to work with this. I do however just make sure that when I am adding more lemons the further I go along that I'm very gentle when I tap the excess off so that it doesn't take any of the powder off the ones I stamped all the way back at the beginning. I could have taken a break and gotten my heat gun out halfway through but I really love the look of heating it all up in one go. I'm not going to lie, I was going for the look here, I wanted it to be pretty for you to see when it gets done all in one go. So there we have our lemon background ready for heat embossing. So I've got out my heat gun, I let it warm up for just a second and now I'm ready to melt all this powder. I decided to leave the whole clip in for this because it's just so satisfying to watch it get all shiny and pretty. Once my lemons were done, I then went back over this piece of cardstock with my anti-static powder and I'm going to be stamping that little leaf in between the lemons just to fill up the gaps. Once all of my embossing is done, I grab a microfiber cloth and I just run that over my cardstock to pick up any of that excess powder. I decided to go with watercolours today for a bit of a softer look. That and my yellow Copic, it's running out. I need to get a reinker for it. But I thought I would play with my watercolours. So here I have my pearl watercolour set and I'm using the lemon yellow, which is perfect, and the may green for the leaves. I love the look of watercolours and the effect of it all, but I'll be the first to say that I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to watercolours. So I just play around with the colours here. I put some water down on the lemons first so that the yellow spreads over it nicely. Sometimes I don't do that. I was just playing with whatever looked good here. I gave my background a little bit of time to dry so it's dry to the touch at the moment and then I'm going to go in with some blue gold watercolour pigment to sprinkle over the top and I know it's a little bit odd to go with a blue gold when there's like a yellow gold and a red gold but in the past I've used this specific paint before and it seems to match best with 
the gold embossing powder. And I did just want to go for consistency. I didn't want to have two completely different golds. I know that might sound silly, but there is such a difference in those watercolors. So what I've done here is I've stamped out one single lemon and I'm going to be coloring it in the same way that I did with all the others for the background. I wanted this one on white cardstock with that black outline so that it would stand out amongst the rest. And I just could not resist adding a cute little face to this. I just love the little faces that Lawn Fawn makes. They're all so adorable. So I've got some eyes going on with a little smile and then I add some cheeks. Considering I did not use a watercolour safe cardstock for this background, uh, my background actually held up fairly well. It was a little bit wavy. I did run it under my heat gun. I was pretty impressed with how it turned out. It wasn't too wobbly. But because I wanted to stick things on the front, I thought it was best to adhere it to my card base sooner rather than later so that it can be nice and flat for when I add everything else on. My single stamped image got the same treatment as all my other images. I did run my white jelly roll pen over it for some cute little highlights. Here I've got my little grid mat out and I've cut some vellum with my second largest stitched rectangle. And all I've done here is stick it down with some washi tape so that I can use the grid behind it to get my letters nice and neat. I've decided to cut the whole sentiment from my Henry's ABCs with some black cardstock. I was just going to have zest in the big letters but I thought it would be really cute to have all of them. So I'm just going to take a minute here to glue them all into place. And once they're all glued down, I'm then going to go over them with my white jelly roll pen to give them the same highlights that I've done on the lemon. I've added some foam squares to this cutie and I'm going to pop him right here on that middle line. Here I am just adding some tape runner to the back of my vellum so that I can adhere it to my card front. It was a little bit tedious to do this but I didn't want to use any more wet glue or the PVA glue because it was starting to warp my vellum just a little bit and I really wanted to avoid that look. I really do love adding these little vellum pieces onto card fronts at the moment. I love that it mutes a really loud background and allows for other things to stand out. I'm really happy with how that turned out. So there we have it, this card is complete. I would love to know what you think of it in the comments below. It was so much fun to make. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.